Hey guys, I'm Alex. And I'm Drew. And today on the Two Man Comic Book Club podcast on the road episode, we're going to talk about some powers and which ones are better. Let's go. Yeah, so a billion years ago, let's see, in October of 2020, I posted something on the Twitter saying flight or super speed. And we're going to just go... And then we did a few more of those. And between now and the time that we get to my house, I think we're going to talk through some of these. So Twitter responded with 62% super speed, 38% flight. Alex, which one would you do? Would you eat over flight? Is that what one? Yeah. Speed 62%? One. Yeah. Wow. Um, honestly, I think I'd probably pick super speed, but I am very surprised that... Uh, that much that it was such a heavy-handed victory. Yeah, I see. Speed would be great, but man, there's just something about flying. Yeah, that's why I'm surprised about it. Um, yeah. I will say I'd probably be a criminal yeah. if I had super speed. Yeah. I don't know if I'd be able to resist the temptation. Yeah. Of... <laughs> Not even robbing a bank blind, but uh, yeah. definitely go and grab a couple hundred dollar bills <laughs> for a while. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> See, I think about the the concept of speed for the fact that I could live anywhere and work anywhere. Yeah. So that's that's something, you know. It seems also way more useful for combat. Yeah, I mean, it, because you have to ask: Does the is the flight fast flight, or is it literally just like, hey guys, look, I'm floating. Right. Because then it's basically useless. Yeah, but even then, I feel like you can get a little bit of a fake flight with speed. Yeah. Uh, run and jump really run far. And, run and jump just for the natural velocity. Probably like what the original Superman, you know, right. leap tall buildings and yeah. single down. That was strength, probably a little bit of speed too. Yeah. I think there's some crossover there. Yeah. So, yeah, I think I would go speed, but I am still surprised that it was such a large victory for speed over yeah. flight. Uh, moving on. Telepathy or telekinesis? First off, let me ask, which one do you think won? I'm going to say telekinesis one for the same reason. You want, yeah, you are right. That, Tele- that I w- would also pick telekinesis. Ah, telepathy one, or got, telepathy got 16 or 17%. Telekinesis won by, at, with 83% of the yeah. vote. Not surprising. I'm assuming everyone else has the same logic as me, that it's, I don't want to know yeah. what you're thinking. Uh, that was uh, Max Venus, one of our first... Uh, <laughs> I did not hear Max Bemis. Oh. What? <laughs> Max Bemis, uh, he responded, like, we asked, what's the worst superpower? And he said, the, you know, the the, the guy who wrote uh, Worst X-Men Ever, the first one we ever covered, he responded to our tweet saying telepathy, because he doesn't want to know what people think about him. Yeah. I think there's a lot of truth to that. And who hasn't been sitting on a couch with the remote just out of reach? And wished you had telepathy oh, or te- yeah. uh, telekinesis. Yeah, again, another power that I would have used for personal gain. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, now, if I had super speed and telekinetic abilities, yeah, y'all better lock me up. Yeah. Uh, I'm about to be a criminal. All right. Moving on because we're getting closer and closer to my house. <laughs> um, this one tied. Invulnerability or healing factor. With a whopping eight votes. <laughs> so, um, I I think I would... Healing factor would be nice. Yeah. But invulnerability means, man, I'm just never going to get hurt. Yeah, but hurt's not the same as sick. Yeah. Um, I th- this is also... This one kind of goes into, like, a, naturally with a healing factor, there's a little bit of a, I'm going to live for a long time. Yeah. And then you got to watch all your friends and family die. Yeah, that's tough. That's pretty hard. Probably invulnerability, um, though. I'm uh, trying to create a theme and see if I can find out a way to use that for personal gain. Yeah. Uh, maybe just, like, hey, man, if you give me 50 bucks, I'll let you shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or the parlor tricks. Yeah. I'm joining the circus and whatnot. What about you? Uh, I don't know. I think I would tend to say invulnerability, just because I'd like to not have to go through the pain in the first place. True. So. Yeah. I think I agree with that one. But, 
Healing Factor would also be pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. All right, I gotta go a little bit. Uh, with a whopping five votes, yeah, there was a trend. We got less and less people voting um, the longer we went. Anyway, Super Intellect or Super Strength, you wanna guess uh, who won? Um, I'm gonna guess Intellect. Yep, 100% uh, voted Super Intellect <laughs> yeah. over Super Strength. Um, yeah, I, I tend to, I would hate to be worrying every time, sorry, it's not focusing. I would hate to be worrying that every time I go to hug somebody or shake somebody's hand, yeah. I might conceivably uh, wreck them. <laughs> I don't know if I'd be concerned about that as much, but uh, being hyper smart would be pretty cool. Unless, unless it was of such a degree that you just felt like you were in a room full of idiots. Yeah. Like if you were just like you couldn't. Yeah. That would that would be a problem. You know? Yeah. The old ignorance is bliss thing. Yeah. But, but yeah, I, would I would still stand. I would totally pick intellect. Intellect, I would absolutely I'd also be smart enough to figure out how to use that to be a criminal. <laughs> <laughs> I'd See, make myself some coin. Yeah. I, th I feel like super intellect, you'd be able to figure out how to be strong. strong. Like, yeah. build yourself an Iron Man suit, you know. Right, because really that's what he is, right? He's yeah. Super, he's wicked smat. Yeah. Anything else on that one? I don't think so. All right. Power over plants or power over animals? I voted on this one, but I can't remember what I voted. Well, I'll go ahead and tell you. Plants got 21% of the vote. Animals got 79% of the vote. Wow. I mean, I guess to think that I could actually control my cat <laughs> to talk to me and stuff, that would be fun. Uh, plants would be fun just because I could be a way better gardener. Yeah, you know? I'm trying to decide what would I do with both of those. And Animals would maybe be useful for, like, I don't know, uh, not just offensive things like sicking a yeah. tiger on somebody, but, like, swimming with... Yeah. Whales or... I don't know. I mean, um, Swamp Thing, who, you know, is, like, in touch with the green. Like, the green is a significant force in the DC universe. Like, I, th I feel like the power over plants could end up being a lot more powerful in the long run. But I guess it just depends if I'm able to, like, poison ivy. To what level? Yeah. Plants. Like, am yeah. I, like, sicking vines on people and... I can just raise my arms in a forest of powerful red oak trees. Yeah. Slam that on the ground. That'd be cool. Probably plants for me. Yeah. Uh, with that asterisk of being able to do the cool stuff. Uh, then I would probably uh, plant a tree that tunnel in under a bank <laughs> so that I can get more money. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, moving on, because time is running thin. Power over fire or power over ice? And I'll go ahead and tell you, this one tied. Yeah, that's not surprising. Um, I pick ice just because I run hot. Yeah? And, uh, you could like cool to yourself just, off. Yeah, Bobby Drake's cool. Ice man yeah. over pyro. Um, I just, I have a hard time thinking that fire, unless you're, like, doing things with it that I don't understand, can be anything but destructive. Yeah. Ice feels less destructive to me, so I would have a chance of being a hero and not just a, uh, a villain yeah. burning stuff, blowing crap up. Yeah, ice for me, for sure. Alright, I think I've got to go a bit forward for this one because I didn't post one for a long time. Uh... While he's looking that for that, you might be wondering why in the heck we're doing this on the road. We had a gig today. Well, not a play gig. Uh a contracted video project that we did for a client of mine and uh Drew came and ran some audio stuff and we're headed back after a long day and decided it'd be fun to bust out the camera and just talk some some superpowers because not sure if we'll have a chance to, to to actually meet up before uh we need to release another episode so right. if so yeah if you're actually listening to this and the audio quality is okay, then awesome. I did my job. If it's terrible, then you are a saint for listening this long. <laughs> All right. This might be the last one. I don't remember. This one got a whopping three votes. <laughs> Probably two. Yeah. Me, you, and one other person. Yeah. 
Would you rather have the power to control slash create wind or control slash create lightning? Um, so we're talking like airbender versus pseudo firebender. Yeah, the, the high level the firebender. Yeah. Thing. Uh, probably wind. Yeah, that's what everybody else voted for. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, lightning's pretty destructive. What are yeah. you going to do with that? See, I feel like if I could con- deal with the wind, that I would definitely finally buy a sailboat. Yeah. You know, though, if if you had, like, uh, Omega-level mutant control over that lightning, like, where it's, like, whatever thing you can think of, you can do with this lightning within the confines of science, as funny as that statement is. But, like, say I need to charge my phone real quick. Like, that I just Shazam. Yes. He did that. He was like, charge, charge. charge phone, but then he, charge, like, blew phone, people's charge, phones yeah. up. Yeah. But if you had even more control than You that. could run the grid. Right, yeah. Your power, your house. To, to, to make a lot of money. Yeah, now you're making a lot of money, which has kind of been my thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so maybe that one, just uh, to be consistent, Yeah. I pick lightning. Although I, I want to pick air, it seems... I just want to be the avatar. Because I feel like if I could if I could uh, control, create wind, then I would totally have myself a flying suit. Oh, yeah. I couldn't do that with lightning. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Well, anyway, <laughs> um, that's the whole list of everything we put out on Twitter. <laughs> um, this is an 11-minute episode. <laughs> uh, some people might prefer this, because I think one of our recent ones was an hour and a half. Yeah. So... Do you have any? You know, we have maybe five minutes before I make it to my house. I'm trying so, to think. Um, one that we didn't have a versus for is teleportation or something else. Because uh, so some, teleportation, uh, probably whatever you suggest, I'm going to pick that because that's just what superpower yeah. I would love to have. I mean, it would be. I feel like it would be obvious for it to go up against super speed. Right. Um, and I think I would probably pick teleportation also. Yeah. Unless the super speed is like, you know, the flash super speed, um, having the like super fast brain too, because then all I can do is zap from place to place, but I'm not necessarily being any faster. It just means well, I can sleep in and be there in, in a flash, <laughs> um, as opposed to also his, super fast cleaning my house. His flash speed. Like, if we're talking Flash, he can time travel with his. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, so that's that's right up your wheelhouse right yeah. there. Time tra- travel is one of my hobbies. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, teleportation's a tough one, because it's awesome. And, yeah. man, it would make moving so easy. Oh, yeah, that would be really cool. It would make a lot of things easier. You could live um, anywhere, work anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I think I said um, that already. You know, another pro for teleportation is that you could literally, even when nobody's there, get inside a bank vault. And make lots and of make money. And make lots of money. Yeah. Um, <laughs> which, again, is what what you should do if you have a superpower. Yeah. You know? Personal gain. Yeah. If, if this had been filmed on an iPhone 13, <laughs> I could have adjusted this focus after the fact. I don't think I've been in focus at all this whole time, so I hope you've liked looking at Alex instead of me. <laughs> um, well, let me just uh, ask you, uh, of all these that we named, you can't say teleportation because we didn't actually have a vote for that. Right. Any of them that we actually voted on, right. which one would you pick? Um, probably super speed. It's kind of a, a cousin yeah. of teleportation. I'm, not, I'm tempted to say the same thing. Either super speed or telekinesis. Telekinesis yeah. for the lazy factor. Um, but super speed just for... Man, that would be so helpful with literally everything I ever do. I would just need a way faster computer. Uh, including robbery. Including robbery. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'd go with. Okay. Super speed. Being a fast boy. We'd be home already. Yeah, we would. I mean, even if I had to take a couple trips with all my stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I would have made it home. Yeah. Way quicker than the hour it just took. Well, we're pulling into my hometown. So, unless you have anything else, maybe we'll wrap this up. That's it. Where can they find you on social media? Uh, you can find me at Drew Morris Comp on Twitter, Drew Morris Composer. Elsewhere, what about you? 
You can find me at Alex Wayne Miller. Wayne is W-A-Y-N-E, just like Bruce Wayne, because I'm driving the Batmobile. But it's orange. Uh, you can find us at Two Man Comic Book. Oh, hit the thing. Two Man Comic Book with the number two on Twitter. Two Man Comic Book Club. Other places. Uh, you can join our Discord. Link in the show notes. Slash description. Slash possibly right here. Um, give us a call. Tell us what your how you would have voted. Six six two man fan eight. Yeah. If you're watching this on YouTube, comment down below. What would you have picked? Yeah. I'm curious. Uh, do all of them. Like your favorite one, and then like the verses. Also, if you're watching this on inst- on Instagram, not. <laughs> On Twitter, on what? YouTube. I've used too many brain cells today. Yeah. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, another thing I'd love for you to comment is: Did you enjoy this uh, kind of impromptu, super short sewed? Um, you know, it looks like it's going to be a 17 minute episode, or were you sad that it wasn't an hour and a half long? Let <laughs> us know. Uh, this was just done kind of out of necessity more than anything, but it's fun to just go off off the script and. And just talk about things. So, anyway, regardless of how you're listening, we're thankful for you listening mm-hmm. slash watching. And I'm sorry that I'm still not in focus. Um, <laughs> but thank you for being a two-man fan. And is, is that it? We'll see you next time. Bye. I wonder what everybody thinks of us that's driven by and seeing us. Oh, somebody's calling. Two Man Comic Book Club podcast is hosted by Alex Miller and Drew Morris. Our graphic and logo work is done by Tessa Price, and our original compositions and theme music were composed by Drew Morris. Good? Yep.